big up to the boys. Fox and Shane, set your mind free, no locks and chains. Do what you love, roll the dice. 50 50, we cold as ice. One thing cold, but a pretty time red. Hey. Kill it, dick, hey. hey. in my head, war gaming. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Hobby Homies. I'm just scratching my chin. I am Shane. This is Fox. Howdy. And of course, we've got Churchy. How you going, guys? God damn, that snuck up on me. Uh, today, we are talking about one page rules and more specifically, Grim Dark Future. Yeah, we, we played a game, the trio of us. We did. We had a three way. We did have a three way. And that's uh, video coming soon on the Patreon. Uh, that's a top tier big dog, big. Big, big doodle, oh, whatever yeah. you got to do. <laughs> it's one, one of them. Those. It's one of those. Uh, yeah, it was yeah. it was a, a good little minute where the three of us were taught yep. uh, Grim Dark Future by One Page Rules by Shane. You taught us. Yeah, that was a long way to get there. Yeah, it was. We got there. We did. I so, kind of. I mean, yeah, like you, ha I've been playing this um, Grim Dark Future for what well, feels like ages now. Yeah. It's only been maybe like two months. Yeah. Um, and I've been like harping up that tree big time you yeah to start get playing on it. it and we got there so explain to people many many listeners of the show know what one page rules are yeah. and could guess what grim dark future is but explain it to us like we're five <laughs> well eli five when a mom and a dad love each other very much yep and they hate 40k. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no. So, I, I mean, we talked about this briefly on one of our episodes a few months ago now. The Star Wars Legion one. It all blends um, together. What Legion and One Page Rules, I think we did. It's one long episode with 168 parts to it. It's probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, it's basically started off as like a, I guess you would call it a free version of 40k. Yeah. But it's evolved into its own being, you know. It's got so many rules that we didn't even touch on. Rules for like um, narrative things and flavor and campaigns and all that sort of stuff yeah um but we played it in it's almost its basic form with um alternating activations yeah which is a big plus to the game yeah yep. i believe before it was one page rules it was called one page 40k yeah yeah it was yeah, yeah. yep and then they changed their name for legal reasons i mm. suppose <laughs> yeah yeah that <laughs> yeah. makes sense and we they've since branched out just beyond 40k which they now call grim dark future that's yep. their full scale sci-fi yep. game but now they do a skirmish sci-fi game, full-scale fantasy, fantasy yep. yep, and a skirmish fantasy and a, a Reg fleet. They do a regimental fantasy as oh, well. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yep. You do a, they do a naval, uh, uh, sorry, a space naval version. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever you call that. <laughs> so they've got a heap um, yeah, of different fleets. rules and yeah. they still do have the core concept. Like I think you can still get the back-to-back -back one page. Literally you can, yeah. one page, double-sided one page. Yep. So they're stretching the one page rule there. Yeah. But um, it's their rules. It's their rules. <laughs> they hate the rules. Um, but yeah, you can play, you can, you can all like boil it down into one double sided page. And that feels like kind of what we played today. Pretty much. We Almost played, the one page version. Yeah, pretty much. With our faction rules yep. then. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like everything we done now, we, we could have easily been done in the free version, which I think is 20 pages it, like of the expanded oh, sure. rule book. Um, yeah. So all the rules for all those systems we mentioned, or most of the systems, yep. are free. Yep. But then there yep. are expanded rules that you can download if you become a patron yep. of this for seven bucks a month. Yeah. You can, you know, it's great to support them and to, and to, you know, support any company that's doing this stuff. But like, you can literally sign up, download them, and then stop. You know. Yeah. You know, pay you one month, you're seven dollars, and then you're getting like six books. I think it is. Yeah. 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 Yep. And it's it's funny how good it is to to do that like pay your seven bucks get all your rule books yeah but if you're a um someone who has a resin printer and, and likes to print minis yeah you can also then i think get a 90 percent off or maybe it's 50 percent depends on the the it might depend on how the tier they are. or the the patreon tier oh yeah depends on yep. what kind of discount you get but i think i got 90 yep. percent off the jackal bundle yeah yeah and so for my seven dollars or whatever it was plus the twelve dollars for ninety dollars worth of models yeah so all up less than 20 bucks oh yeah i got the rules and all the 
files for all the jackals. Yeah, yeah. And I could have unsubbed. I thought I did originally, but I guess it automatically came back out. And I was uh, like, yeah. oh well. <laughs> and must, a lot of people must do that because you were saying they've got over ten thousand. Just hit their ten thousand subs. Yeah, that's it's a just, lot of patrons. It's, it's it's nuts. And like, it's awesome to see, you know. And like, you know, for if if money's not too tight, and you know, you can get you can afford fifteen bucks a month for their patreon yeah i think you get free models every month too don't you yeah you, get you do a bundle yeah so you're getting like new armies almost every yeah. month which is crazy for 15 bucks yeah it's awesome for if you've got a printer yeah less value in it if you don't because i don't i'm not sure what else you get you do get other oh, stuff like you get like a points and... calculator thing so you can you can do what's similar to like what war surges are which, which we've covered on the show but yeah you can you can essentially make rules for Fox's can of Pepsi. <laughs> and you should. 200 points. It's a leader. It's melee. Yeah. And it's it doesn't me- move. It's purely melee. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't move at all. It doesn't psychic move. No, yeah. so, well, some psychic a couple psychic crazy. powers. <laughs> yeah. <Whoa>. Hey. <laughs> go, go back to church <laughs> can for a second. Yeah. For those listening, we swapped to churchy that's cam. A, that's and a firmware it's, update, it's, churchy. It's spazzed out. <laughs> Technical <laughs> difficulties. <laughs> Luckily, that's on his camera. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Black camera. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, it oh, points yeah, at yeah. him, you know. I mean, the one not pointing at us. Yeah, exactly. On the actual... Oh, it's just anyway, on the... Ma- hey, maybe anyway. it's on the preview and everyone on the actual recording thinks we're really strange. True. No, no, it's on it was the on the recording. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Neither here nor there. Yeah. <laughs> so, One Page Rules has a myriad of different games. We played Grim Dark Future. Yeah. The full-scale sci-fi game. We played a thousand points. We did. Yeah. Which is, like... 400 points of 40k yeah it does feel like it almost has much. a 50 uh, percent yeah. kind of ratio to it which yeah. is good um it meant i think i brought 40 or 50 models did you, you yeah had, oh you had a couple of units of like 10 didn't you yeah yeah so i had yeah i had 36 models i had 36 models okay yeah yeah so it was a good number and we played on a little what is that like a four by three that is a four by two 44 by 30 <laughs> the, sure. new, the new size roughly that's right roughly yeah. roughly four, four by three, three pretty much yeah. yeah yeah it's replaced the four by four it's the it's the half size of the the main size that gw are using i was worried about the map size initially because we were dropping about 30 models each yeah in our little corners and there was about 15 inches maybe between our yeah, armies or, yeah. or 18 inches yeah but that just meant we got into it straight away it was oh, yeah. great fun turn one like things things were happening yeah so that was good and initially, like my first thoughts when we played this was like, it felt so familiar. Yeah. It felt like I'd played this game before. You could have almost for the entire game, whenever I was like, if I asked you a question, you could have just been like, how do you think that works? Yeah. And I'd yeah, be like, yeah. well, if I just take like a simplified version of what I know from 40K. And you would have been right. Yeah. Like that's, it that's, felt like it, how, yeah. e- that's how easy it is. Like Churchy has played a, f- a handful of tabletop games and he picked it up by, you know, by his first activation pretty which, much which is crazy because uh, the good thing is like when we're making the lists on their free list builder which blows my mind yeah hello, <laughs> hello there um God damn. you can also just go to like a f- you it lets you pick a few different versions of showing your cards ready to play yeah so i selected card mode and printed that and i had everything oh, in front of me how good is it dude so good it is it, you could you could print them and cut them out and, and place them wherever you wanted to around you if you yeah. wanted to you know be kind of like star wars legion-esque with a line of cards in front of you yeah we just kept them on the a4 sheet yeah it was great yeah so I, good i used to do that exact same thing with my 40k lists i would oh, put yeah. them in a bar- battle scribe and then yep. like cut and paste the each individual box out <laughs> yep and put it on a4 and <laughs> in different and just try and fit as much on as yep. and one page as i can so the fact that that did it automatically for me in like a readable format was dope. It's so good. And it's free. Like that yeah, I know. So that uses the um, beta rules, which is like a 2.5. It's kind of like a living rule system. Like it's constantly changing. Sure, cool. So the rule books, I think, are considered 2.1 or something like that, 2.16 or something. Right. But in the rule books, there's, there aren't point values. You know, you, know, you haven't got um, – there are army books – yeah okay. almost almost like codexes that are sure. available but they use the older rules where that ah. um that army builder uses like the current rules so right. these can change from one day to the next you know like you could build a list and then all of a sudden go oh you know now it's only 995 points sure or it's gone up or something you know so basically so, what people have asked you know 
uh, 40k or Games Workshop to do with their systems yep. for decades. Yeah. Is or for years, I should say. Yeah, is like at least just a decade, have, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Like the, that, that's such a good concept that someone in the balance department, you yeah, know, or someone on the one page rules team can be like, all right, every, unanimously across the board, we constantly have this thing where it says this unit's overcosted. Yeah, let's drop it by ten, see if the feedback see changes. Yeah, and the second they make that decision, the second we start playing with it, like yeah. the next day yeah. when we make a list, that's already done. Yeah. I love that. They've got an insane Discord uh, server as well, Facebook groups and stuff. But like the Discord is mo- mostly where it's at. Like you can ask rules in there. Yeah. And there's just a ridiculous amount of people that are like there to help. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is just, it's an awesome like support network to have for a game like this, you know? I think I even jumped in there and I asked, yeah, I did a, pr- a printing question. I was like, hey, does anyone have the same problem with like printing the bases? You get this little like nick at the bottom. Oh, yeah. And a couple of people were like, oh, yeah, it's pretty common. You just do this, this. And I was yeah. like, oh, sweet. And yeah, so now yeah. my bases are better because Hell of that yeah. interaction. Yep. Yeah. And for those listening that uh, like, oh, are these guys sponsored by One Page Rules? No. <laughs> no, we're not. But applications are- <laughs> They are open. They're Email open. hobbyhomies at gmail.com. <laughs> we're always pretty, I would say, optimistic people. Uh, oh, so, I was going to say we're always open to sponsors. And we are. Yeah. Th- uh, and thank you, Pepsi Max, drink of choice for today. Uh, and tomorrow it could be whatever. I mean, we're, we're open. Tomorrow might be Australian natural, natural cold spring water. <laughs> Surprisingly good. Is that what that says on it? Or refreshingly good? Refreshingly good. <laughs> Surprisingly, Surprisingly good. good would be way better. <laughs> <laughs> Cole's natural spring water surprisingly, surprisingly good. good I like that I mean, it's not an ad we are just two war gamers who yeah. talk about things that we like so therefore yeah. we say good things about them and like you know we like them and like we're <laughs> just the thing still fucking it is, still is it on. go back to it I, I want to see it a, spot, a pump sponsor <laughs> drink pump spring <laughs> water <laughs> No SD card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, I can get rid of that, but I can't get rid of the shake. Like, no. <laughs> Georgie, I'm having, I feel like I'm going to have a fit. Yeah, so we should put, just a, turn it off. put a warning on this <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, this <laughs> seizure this alert. Off. Yeah. Um, I give up on that. So, yeah. So, where were we before? <laughs> The, uh, the pump rave we was, in. <laughs> the pump rave it was surprisingly good surprisingly good Let's refreshingly talk, good refreshingly good yeah but we were talking about yes so we're not sponsored we're not getting kickbacks or anything like this but we just like want to pass on what we find and what we love yeah. to you because until someone did the same thing which I'm pretty sure was Vroomer in the discord yep. I didn't know what one page rules was I didn't know how good it was yeah and he told me I've I think I just wore you down <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm honestly exhausted. And you, yeah. and you, and you folded. And I was like, I guess I'll. It's it's I funny. Guess I'll play this knockoff 40k. I guess I'll play 40k a lot. <laughs> yeah. 40k no, no sugar. sugar. Yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly good. <laughs> hey, I was surprised by how good it was. Yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. As like a beginner and you know someone that doesn't really play tabletop games very much these days. Yeah. Um, it was yeah really quick to learn and just fun. And it's like oh, yeah, you it's you had the most complicated army too, Churchy. <laughs> I looked at your piece of paper that Shane gave you and thought True. this would be a good idea. His first game, let's yeah. give him eight paragraphs of rules. His <laughs> paper just... is filled with words. He's got two pages because his, his yeah. psychic spells couldn't fit on there. Far out, the poor lad could decide yeah. what to do with his tank, and you gave him two pages of rules. <laughs> In one page rules, you gave him two pages of rules. Hey, I said Necrons or Gene Stealer Colts. <laughs> Gene Stealer Colts. Oh, sorry, uh, Soul Snatchers. Soul yeah. Snatchers. Soul of snatches, course, yes. yeah. It is great. What I liked, uh, uh, what I have constantly liked about the game before I played it was the fact that you can like one page rules, yeah, and I can like forty k, and you we can play either. Oh yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. So it's just kind of like, but we don't have to change the models and we don't have to change the setting or anything. Yeah, yep. we can both now play two games. I mean, that'd be the compromise. Like for example, if I liked forty k. You'd play that. And yeah, be like, yeah, oh, well, at least yeah, I can course. use my one page rules, jackals or whatever. Yeah, it counts yeah. as. Or, counts as. Yep, yeah. Yep. So it's just kind of like, it's just a different way to play with the models you already have. Yeah. Unless you're like me and decide to print yourself a whole new army. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we do. But, but like, you know, you can, you can, if you love the law of 40K, you can bring that into one page rules. Absolutely. You know, yeah. Just because they're called robot legions, they're still necrons. Yeah. We still know what they are are meant to be yeah you know your jackals you can say they're crew like you can have them if that's if that's the law that you you know that you love yeah and as long as it's not if you're not as long as you're not playing for the rules which 
if you're playing 40k, why are you playing for the rules? Um, <laughs> but like, man's likes the 40k rules. <laughs> um, but like, if you you know you, you can easily insert any of the of the 40k lore and and factions and universe into yeah. one page rules. Yeah, it could have may as well have been Gene Steeler Cold's V Necrons V Jackals. <laughs> yeah, and it was, and it was, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. and like, yeah, I think that is the that is a good thing that it's kind of like. I just, I just find that I'm in that situation where I love the lore, the miniatures. And so, I can take all the good stuff from 40K yep. and just put it into what I think, you know, we've sort of grown into more casual gamers. Yeah. Yeah. Or rather, we're, we're casual in that we'd like to play this game this week yep. and we just want to throw it on the table and roll dice. Yep. And then next, next week, it might be this game. Yeah, yeah, We'd rather yeah. pl- try the sampling plate, yeah. but not compromise when we're actually playing the game. Nah, and it feels nah. like we were doing that with 40K. Yeah. By the time we had to learn Pouring our rules. Over or, a rule book and a codex and like yeah. all that, like just to play one game. Yeah. You know, like with this, like it was just so easy. Like I'm, to be fair, we've picked up the basics of, of any war game Yeah, from you know the last how long we do this for now like six years or something we've been playing for yeah know. yeah maybe yeah not, about six again years. still not long as far as some of the the guys out there that have tenure you know yeah like, yeah, yeah like um yeah uh but still long enough to like know the basics and to know the phases you know they're all the same in different games there's sometimes they're just in different orders and stuff like that but, yeah yep so we picked it up easy where someone who isn't experienced may still take time yep. to learn you know move shoot all that sort of stuff but like yeah it, yeah it's just easier simpler i don't know and love i've it. i've talked yeah <laughs> i love it you do spoiler alert shane loves it it's played like what 11 12 games now of that a few of, yeah, yeah yeah probably more in your short time of actually playing it yeah you know it's just super accessible there's no bloat nah you nah. just throw the models on the table you usually got your little printout ready to go yep and you got a little rule book PDF that you flick yeah. through that's quite easy to use. The first time I played it against someone that wasn't Caitlin, I went to the Westgate Wargaming Club in Spotswood. Yeah. Played against Mick and he played Necrons, yep. or Robot Legions. Yeah. Stomped me both times, but we got I got stomped two times in the space of two hours. Great. <laughs> so that was a good time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's great for you because you're going to get stomped twice anyways. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. let it be in two hours. At least that is two hours. With some Bruce. I drive home. I was like, oh, it's only yeah. 8.30. Yeah, I couldn't have gotten drunk. It's only, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what am I going to do with the rest of the night? Exactly. Might paint some uh, better models. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I yeah. think, uh, I know that the argument can always be made. You can use any miniatures in any game and play any rules that you want. And that's always true, of course. And you can take the... Uh, 40k rule book strip out all the stuff you don't like and just play the basic version of that game but i I think you always tend to play a game the way that you feel like it's intended to be played yeah and the way that it it was made to be played first you know and so one page rules comes across as something that's like hey we started with the basics and then we added stuff on and so when you play the game you do the same thing yeah Whereas like next time we play, we'll use a few of the extra actions, you know? Yeah. There's actions where you can do a, like an aggressive charge or something. I can't remember what it's called, but like you can only charge six inches, but you get a plus one. Yeah. Or you can do defensive stance where, you know, you, you, when you're about to get charged, yeah. um, you, I can't remember the exact rule, but it's, it's you know, maybe it's it's a minus one for your opponent or something like that. There's yep. different things like that. Like yeah. you can, you know, you can move stealthily and, and add one, to anyone trying to shoot at you yeah there's like all these different actions that you can do that we didn't even touch on yeah oh that's really cool yeah that's yeah. really cool so like what we played was maybe half of it if that yeah yeah, yeah. it felt like it felt very clean yeah. but it, it did feel like uh i wouldn't play what we played just there 20 times in a row oh, no. like i could 40k nah. yeah because yeah. there's so much more rules therefore more interest but you yeah. know it's because we left all those other rules we on did. the table so. we left all the battlefield events out we left all the yep. terrain effects out yeah there's so there's so much more yeah yeah, yeah that was good yeah that's good fun yeah um so our game we played the three of us we did you played robot legions robot legions yep which were super like they've got reanimation protocols <laughs> as i'm doing air quotation air quotes <laughs> yeah uh, which was called something else but it's the same regeneration regeneration it's like a stock standard rule that can be found on different factions sure uh, like the t- the 
Tower Coalition have one which called like, their drones have like self repair, sure, regen, right? Yeah, Just things like that. It's like if you take a wound, roll a five it's up, basically and then, feel no pain. So. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, so you had that, and that was their main thing because they're or they were super durable, as they me and Churchy would later learn. Mm. The three, uh, my immortals or my eternals had a two up armor save. Yeah, everything else had a three up armor save. Mm-hmm. So decent, right? With regen. Um, slow though everything had the slow keyword except for the destroyers sure um so i'm only moving four inches if i wanted to shoot or eight if i wanted to rush which is about eight more than churchy moved all game but that's fine we'll get to, we'll get to that <laughs> he moved forward but then he put it in reverse so back, yeah, it book, back it up yeah yeah and so i yeah. noticed like their shooting was still pretty good but their yeah. main thing was Three, that they were three. super durable yeah yeah um and that's why they were so expensive in points was because yeah. they had that re- oh, it's got to be regen like yeah i feel like if you were to make those without regen the points would be like half like, yeah you know yeah i think so yeah. then again like your uh you had one squad of shooty m- mortals that pumped out shots yeah and then you had your and they were they did so much damage and they then did. your slicey boys did so much damage yeah. so but the warriors just, a- just got chomped by your guys yeah that's true yeah but that's the thing is those felt like what robot warriors should yep. feel like yep. if they're if they're the hit like if they've got big massive cannons on them yeah they should hit hard yeah yeah yeah. and if they've got if they're towering like they're 13 <laughs> foot tall and they've got these blades that are yep. as tall as my jackal yep. it should slice and dice through me and they did and then when i shoot you it yep. should be hard to kill you yeah you're a fucking robot <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know exactly. i'm a yeah, jackal yeah. i'm a dog yeah, yeah. you're yeah. metal but yeah. like yeah when you charge me and and I had like one attack each model, right? Because they're, yeah. they're not made to fight in melee because they're they're warriors. They yeah. just got gorse flares. Like, yeah. you, you know, so like that's playing it right, I suppose. Yeah. By you charging them. Yeah, for like, sure. You're not going to like have a shoot off against them. That's it. And like yeah. I charged them with these things that had these massive, they're like massive rhinoceros looking things almost yeah, yeah, with yeah. explosive spears. Yeah. And, and it felt like <laughs> if three of them charged into a squad of 10 metal robots. Yeah. It should kill a handful of them. Bloody oath, it should. Spears with grenades yeah. attached to the end Yeah, of exactly. Of course. <laughs> yeah. So I killed about six of those and I was like, you know, I, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's the first time I played a game where I'm like, if I, if this was a fight, I feel like that's what three of those ry- rhinoceros ri- riding dudes should yeah, kill yeah. in like robots. seven of the yeah. robots or whatever. Yeah, yep. yeah. Yep. I can just imagine them like just going through, like just chomping one in half. Yep. The riders like stabbed one and just... And blown up, up. yeah like yep. e- yeah you could easily see them taking down two or three each yeah it like, shouldn't wipe yeah. a squad of 10 just because nah. it's good at melee yeah but it shouldn't do nothing just yeah. because it's unbalanced you yeah. know yeah so the whole game felt super rewarding in that aspect like my jackals would do like some peppering yep uh with their scrap rifles yep. Clink and then the get or something and then get fucked up by things that <laughs> should actually be able to shoot yeah, yeah so the whole game with the exception of churchy's tank the whole game i felt like the things did what they should do yeah that, that broke my heart every time he like he's like all right battle cannon rolls a one yeah. and a two yeah. all right the plasma cannons a one and a one yeah <laughs> like, it was like that was the one thing that really sort of mucked <sighs> me up because yeah. a lot of what i was trying to do relied on my tank yeah actually getting starting to put some pressure on but yeah yeah and shots no nah. and in a 1000 point game your tank was 410 of yeah. them yeah you yeah. Know? yeah yeah so poor churchy gets introduced to two pages of rules for a game he's never played for a non-tabletop gamer and the one thing he focuses on is right. this little tank all right, I won't it's not put a your tank fault in there next time I'll anymore another, another walker in there. Yeah. <laughs> no it's not your fault church you didn't want to turn the flamers on yeah true. didn't want to pour some oil in the burner <laughs> yeah yeah but that's that's also like because church only played a handful of games like that's i spent it. like my first 10 whammer games playing exactly like that yeah keeping everything back and then dying and or playing losing. cagey yeah but, yeah and then and it's like you've got to find that balance and i mean you, when you don't know the army it's hard right for because sure like you overextend and you get you know chopped off at the knees yeah or you, or you turtle up and you get sure you're protecting your objective but you're only getting one point per turn yeah yeah so it is that tough balance where you gotta yeah. go and, and yeah, yeah it's so hard that's the fun thing about war game is is that as what you said is just that trade-off yeah. where it's like you need to push yourself to the to the limits of your army and think about because you like I needed to get, uh, there's like the middle of the table is what we're f- basically fighting for. Yeah, yeah. So this is a, I mean, uh, I don't know where I, I've seen this somewhere before, mm. but basically, I, Caitlin and I, this it's probably out by now, but um, Caitlin and I played a little um, uh, Grim Dark Future firefight. 
Yep. Battle Report. Yep. Um, and it was a mission we played in that. So basically, um, but we, we've all, us three had yep. one objective yep. like, in our deployment zone. To us, that was worth one point. To our opponents, that was worth three points. Sure. And we had one in the middle that we were fighting over. Yeah. Which was worth two points to any of us. So like that was like encouraging, you know, to try and break into your opponent's deployment zone. Yeah. Yeah. And it was... It, it would have been, I think, because there was three of us, it was tough because it was, we were kind of condensed. Yeah. So there was n- never really a way of getting into. Couldn't flank or, yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah. But it also meant that was the, you know, we stayed there for that reason. Yeah. So it kind of kept us in that tug of war of like, how much do we move out of our zone yep. into the middle? Um, and so that's why the first thing I did was sprint across to the middle to try and set up a barrier to block you and Churchy off. Yeah, yeah. Um, because Which then you, I was like, you did. Yeah, I kind of zoned yeah. it out. Yeah. But that's something you learn from playing. Yeah. War games where you're like, okay, it's a war of attrition. Yeah. Yeah. But it, especially in a game like this, where when you told me it was four turns. Yeah. I was like, well, I just want to w- win turns one, two, and three. Then. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, and yeah, hope that by then the, the lead is too big, and then you two are competing for that fourth turn. And yeah. And so. Next time, we're going to see the tanks sitting on that objective and we're going to be like, we can't get on it. <laughs> we can't move yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, yep. But yeah, it was crazy. Like, you'll hear us mention Churchy's dice, but to give you a... He rolled oh. six. So, his his tank had four shots yep. uh, from his two main cannons. Yep. And on two turns, he rolled six ones and two twos. Yeah. On those first eight dice. Yeah, yeah. And then I think in the third turn, did you hit some shots still? Okay. You still missed, I think. I don't think the tank hit at all. Yeah, no, correct. We did, we did that last little bit. We, it was only after we finished the game and I went... Yeah, oh, true. Yeah, which so, was like turn... F- we didn't get yeah. through turn four because we had to start recording. What did but, it um, hit on? Fours? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, fours, yeah. So he rolled 12 dice and never hit a single yeah. four yeah. up. But for the first, the first eight amazed me when it was six ones and two oh, twos. Man. That was yeah. crazy. Yeah. And then Shane on the flip, who's typically the person rolling the ones and twos. I rolled uh, twelve dice and rolled six sixes. Six sixes. Yeah. 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 Fifty fifty. Yeah. Or was it ten dice and rolled six? I think it was ten. Ten. Yeah. It was six. over half. Yeah. 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 That, like, was that was crazy. Like, that was like ten years of good luck just gone there. So. Yeah, you wasted it. I know. <laughs> Actually, you were rolling pretty good that whole game. It yeah, was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Really yeah. good game, man. You that, were rolling crazy thank you. good. It's like the dice gods were like, oh, I guess you're teaching the lads. Mm. That's the least we can do is let you win against them. It wasn't enough, but <laughs> the gods of it's dice did guy, shine upon them. <laughs> I, I heard that. A beam of light came through the roof. Yeah, and hit all six of them sixes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was very cool. It was a very fun game. Yeah. Um, oh, it was so good. It was good. It was just fun watching like, yep. and, and like, you know, in a three player game, you're like, oh, who do I shoot? Yeah, I know. You know, yeah. if, I, if I don't kill Shane's crazy robot slashes yeah yep. i don't know what they're called but that's what they should be called and they're robot slashes now oh, called. sure <laughs> and if i could like if I'd try scorpions try scorpions <laughs> yeah. not scorpec no try, try scorpions. scorpions on account of the three legs they have sure yeah, yeah. <laughs> and i don't know where it gets it's the scorpions because they sting scorpec i guess yeah yeah that's fair <laughs> and they do sting yeah they do sting they do sting what i like about um Dancing across to the model. Now we'll talk about that later. Yes. Yeah. Those things were a nightmare. Those mm. things were an absolute nightmare. Mm. They basically just held the middle and were unkillable, which they is great. They the game. They really did. They were just oppressive. They were. So that was cool. Churchy, I want to know, as someone who basically doesn't play war gaming, mm. what did you... Because you have played a few things. We've, we've coaxed you into a few things. How did, how did yeah. you find that experience compared to what you remember war gaming? That was, that was good that was just quick simple easy like even that was more simple than i think when we tried to play kill team many years ago yeah yeah like or easily like about as simple but it has like a big armies like what we played today so, yeah yeah so it was um yeah i i think the simplicity just makes it so easy and so much fun because it's just like yep yeah, straight away i'm in i'm playing i can understand everything because it's just like right there in front of me i don't have to like yeah. Go to page 57 of whatever, and then oh, yeah. Yeah, my other units yeah. on page 49. Oh. Like, yep. Like, Constantly flipping between codex pages is just yeah. brutal. Especially when, like, everything's so far apart. Yeah. <laughs> like, nothing's yeah. the next page over. I'm such a big sucker for, like, I'd like to own codexes. Not at $84 a pop, but I love the books of Cut codexes. Pages out of them. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> yeah. when it comes to actually playing a game, I just want to, like, make my own little one page 
yeah. one pager, you know, with the stats and with the rules references. Yeah. And like, give me my top 10 rules and write the descriptions for that, which, you know, is all on this. Oh, yeah. And all the special rules there and expl- explanations for the special rules as well. Yeah. You can turn that off so you can like shrink it down. Yeah. Um, once you know, like, you know, you've played enough games, you know, you'd say, oh, they've got. Um, Furious, they you know, automatically know they get plus one attack on the charge. Yeah. Or they've got, you know, regen. Like, there's yep. things. So, but like having it there in front of you, just, it just avoids any like going like, oh, is it plus one to the shooting or plus one to the melee? Like, just little mm. things like that, it you know? It keeps you in the game more. Like, yeah. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And because there's not a lot of what I noticed is because there wasn't a heap of just added extra, I guess, bloat to yep. the rules. We didn't have to remember relics or secondaries or any of that extra yeah. stuff. There are secondary objectives available to play with, though. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It's optional. It's optional. <laughs> um, but because there wasn't, you know, because it was our first game or whatever, yeah. but because the rules felt so familiar, I found myself by the end already knowing the most of my special rules. Yep. You know, I figured out that Carnival was plus one to hit on all melee. Yeah, yeah. Found Relentless was the thing where I shot and every six created an additional six. Yeah. Strider was ignore difficult terrain. Oh, so good. All this extra stuff. Yeah, yeah. Ambush, et cetera, et cetera. Sniper, you know, we learned all those rules. Yep. And a few of us had the same ones back to the days when, uh, I remember when Games Workshop had like a rule and it, a few models had that rule across yeah. codexes. Yeah. They didn't yeah. try to put their flair on it. It felt like that as well. So it was like, Oh, what sniper again? Oh, that's right. Churchy just used the sniper ability. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the same as my sniper yeah. ability. Hits on twos. Hits you on can twos. Pick a target. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the one that's? Uh, no, that was my ambush version. Is where I come in and I hit. Oh, uh, plus you three. Have plus three AP. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. nuts. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. And the ro- the rolling, I found the damage it was so clean because it's like you've got your quality roll, which we mentioned earlier yep. on a previous episode. Is just like it's your hit roll, but yep. it's your hit on melee ranged it's yeah. your morale it's, your morale. it's yeah. just an all-encompassed roll yep yep and so you you when you're like all right i'm rolling to hit i've got this many attacks i just roll this quality dice yep. you roll your defense done yeah that's there's, it there's no rolling to wound it's no. just it's like hit it's block yeah and then it's you know whatever damage yeah, whatever damage is left yeah or that's you know when you roll your regen if you've got regen <laughs> you've got regen <laughs> your regen was <laughs> gnarly just don't die oh, so good yeah so good so, I found it the same as Churchy. Like, compared to all the other games I played it, it felt simple, but it was like I could tell there was a lot to the game yep. um, untouched. You know, I could tell that it was like one of those games that's easy to learn. I wouldn't say hard to master, no, but no. definitely interesting enough to keep playing yep. every week. Yep. You know, you could have this as your main game, which is easy. a big problem I found with some other titles where we're like, no, I want something more casual. You kind of have that trade-off where it's like, yeah, it's casual, but it's casual because it's can you too play? light. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think that is another really good thing about this because it was relatively quick. Even yeah. For like my first time, you know. Oh yeah. Being, yeah. being taught what to do. Um, yeah. It was still really quick, and uh, yeah. And then also, I see the potential of already being like, yeah, it'd be fun to play another game. And yeah, yeah. And then yeah. And then on top of that as well as the the whole kind of fun aspect of potentially like printing an army and you know yeah like, bloody oath yeah, yeah. So. bloody oath and you can print whatever you want you know you can mm. make rules for anything you want you can there's even in the army builder they've got rules for like rebels from star wars legion yeah so that's you can, awesome you can make an army of those yep and they're yeah. all pretty loose so you can you know and yeah it's it's miniature agnostic for the most part like sure, you can have yeah. whatever you want like you can have a whole bunch of xenomorphs for your alien hives yeah if you wanted to yeah like, that'd be sick yeah absolutely um yeah i do like too that they've started not started they've been making their own models for ages but they're they're just getting so good like once oh, i saw the, the jackal release i was like oh my goodness but with, surely they don't print like this with and ten thousand patrons like how yeah, can they not be sure. making good models right that's right and like they've got plans on releasing new models for all so releasing a range of models for all of their factions yeah i think i swear was it mj someone said by the end of the year there was plans for wow. that like every like every month they're doing now they're doing three three factions Every month. Every month, yeah. Wow. Well, at least this month. Maybe it's maybe it's only this month, but they're still sure. planning on two ranges yeah. every month. Wow, they're pumping them out. Which makes yep. sense if they go one sci- sci-fi, one fantasy well, range yeah, yeah. every month. That's- oh, at that, at that rate, they won't cover it by the end of the year. Yeah. But they, Could be by the end of next. Could, yeah, by the end of next, maybe. Yeah. 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 But they'll smash it out. 
And like they look so good. I just saw the oh. star hosts as well. Oh, the Saurians. The Saurians. Oh, the man. old ones. That, Dinosaurs remember? with like like uh, eyepieces and rifles and yeah. stuff. How cool is that? They got scouters. And, yeah, yeah. 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 and shit. But that's the yeah. first thing I thought when I saw them. I was like, these are what I imagined old ones were. Yeah. You know, and for, I mean, the 40K old ones are more like lizardy frog. Yeah, and yeah. Not gators, so to speak. Not dinosaurs, Makes maybe. Makes me think of um, Crocubot from Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> you're on your own. No, on your own. Church gets it. Church gets it. Of the two of us, you're on your own. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, the what was the one that you want... Want me to print Eternal Dynasty? Yeah, very They're cool. Like an alien, um, but Japanese inspired. Nice. Very They're, cool. So it's just something about their heads. They've kind of like, they've got like a no mouth and no nose, but it's kind of like spooky. They remind me of Cad Bane. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, got yeah like a I bit of saying. Yeah. yeah, I don't know why. It's just got that that sort of flat area there. Yeah, the shape but, of their head kind of. Can't, very very vaguely makes me think of like predator like just the way that they're like oh, sure. cheekbones are and sure. that well before um, when you mentioned uh like making a xenomorph army yeah i was thinking of like you know have alien versus predator oh you that, could you so again. could yeah that'd be sweet yeah. That would be sweet. Yeah, you could be awesome. Three factions have one people, one group playing as the humans. As humans, yeah, yeah. They did. There, yeah. There is an Alien vs Predator game, or is it just Alien? It's just Alien. Yeah, it? sure. Yeah, what's it called? Um, yeah, for sure. Anyway, that one. That one. You could use yeah. miniatures from that. <laughs> it's like Parsecs. It's only like crunchy. <laughs> only crunchy. Oh, that'd yeah, be great for one page rules. <laughs> <laughs> True. That will be a thing for sure. Yeah. So I did love it. I did love it. Will it? replace 40k for for me i think it would get played more than 40k yeah it'll never replace 40k in my heart you know the all-encompassing universe and oh yeah and yep. everything to, and models and whatnot i mean it has replaced the models i chose to print these instead of using True. existing 40k ones yeah, so you did but i just thought those jackals were sick yep. those jackals made me buy a printer and then play yeah one page yeah. rules yeah with some help from you <laughs> well because it was like it was like the uh, one page rules uh, bird kept pecking at my head which oh, is you yeah the woodpecker the woodpecker yeah, yeah. and then I just must have gone to their thing and, and saw the jackals and I was like I didn't know they were the models were this dope yeah Um, and then I watched someone print it on like a like a real cheap budget printer yeah and I was like well is that good yeah yeah so that started me the whole well, so I have uh, so one page rule is actually very expensive <laughs> it's cost me about $700 so far <laughs> worth absolutely true, worth yeah true. But all those free models you're going to get, dude. Oh, so many free models. <laughs> so many free models. <laughs> yeah. It's very cool. And I just yeah. like, they've thought of so much. Like when you go on the list builder, I kind of thought it would just be like, oh, you throw your, I've got, I've got jackals that are called nomads and they're just like the stock standard frontline troopers. Yeah. And I was like, oh, so you throw your nomads in there and then maybe you put like a special weapon in there or something bland. But I was yeah. like, actually, no, it's, it's kind of got that. 40k list building aspect to it where it's like up to two of those can take either flamethrowers rocket launchers i had like five special weapon options yeah yeah or all of them may replace their scrap rifles with scrap pistols and close yep. combat weapons or whatever and yep. i was like this is what i mean i'm a list builder yeah, yeah and then for some reason i have to do everything else that comes with war gaming yeah <laughs> so so that i don't know how many 2000 point list of jackals oh, i got but dude, i was like like start Start looking at like the firefight list builder. Yeah. You'll love it. Yeah. Because like I, I put together some for the Tau. Yeah. And like I was expecting real basic, like just like two options. Yeah. But no, it's the same. It's, yeah, you can equip this um, special like gear, mm. you know, like there's all like all kinds of like uh, war gear or whatever they call it. Yeah. Um, awesome. It's just nuts. That's so cool. And like just coming out of like such an indie developer yeah you know they like it's just oh, it's amazing i mean i guess the success of it speaks for itself when you've got ten thousand people giving you money every Willingly single month giving you money you just don't even have to, to play the something game. that's free yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah then that kind of says what it needs to say about how good the community around it is too yeah. like that discord pops yeah not yeah. as much as the hobby homies discord which oh, you can find no. at hobbyhomies.com and click on the discord link and jump in there <laughs> exactly. we've got a one page rule channel we love do. to see you there gets a couple of posts a day <laughs> yeah it does at least at least seven today yeah yeah it's always been popping off yeah yeah so we would love to see more people playing it yeah um i want to know what because there's still so much unknown about it which is exciting for mm. me i want to know what people's 40k armies translate to 
in the game? Like, yeah. are you using the rule book that's sort of a carbon copy that made for it? Are you doing counts as? And are you finding, the thing I'm most interested about is other people finding that the models feel like they do what they should do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Know? That's the thing. Like, that's where, like, in 40K, I was always like, it doesn't feel like it should be doing that. Like, I remember yeah. playing at the GTO, my Broodlord charging something. I can't remember what it was. Might have been Tom's Custodes or something like that. Custodies, yeah. Custodies, whatever. And, like, getting minced. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, okay, the bodyguards of the Emperor. Yeah. But this motherfucker took over a planet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, at least let me scratch one. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Let me just chip the paint or yeah. something. Yeah. Like, yeah, it um, wasn't just a Broodlord. It was a fucking primer. It was a patriarch. Yeah, patriarch. That's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just like, oh, come on. Like, yeah. Yeah, but then like you know that's how I felt with the tank today yeah exactly yeah, yeah uh, that's and, true and that's just like that's like a, the dice right yeah, yeah. yeah. that was you know like the dice. yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, but you know what that d I shot a rocket launcher or two rocket launchers and a full squad into that and what did I plink nothing <laughs> did I hit nothing, <laughs> yeah, nothing. so yeah, it definitely I felt a rocket yeah, just see, like, that, that was, was satisfying. Cool. That, that was so really cool. cool. Yeah, you know, you like you had your you had your um, sanctus up there and you picked out that you know yeah that guy and you popped him because the sniper rule in this game so is cool. fantastic the sniper rule is oh, you pick a single model be. yeah and you can kill that single model out of a, a unit of 20 models you can yeah. it can be a character that's attached to a unit yeah you can you can snipe that yeah i don't know if there's any kind of i don't think i haven't seen any kind of like look at sir rules uh, no it not that i've seen either advanced thing maybe possibly but like it would be interesting because like if you've got a character in there i mean granted they've got at least three wounds right yeah but besides a special weapon yeah guy, like yours but like to like imagine you've got a character in there and like you can just keep pipping him with snot work with snipers great yeah that then you need to bring your own snipers to deal with their True. snipers you know yeah. counter snipers counter sniping mm. you know but i yeah. just liked because in, in other games 40k yeah <laughs> you can snipe characters yeah but then there's lookout sirs yeah which i think maybe i can't remember if they get ignored anymore I but yeah know. it just kind of feels like sniper was like a, it was never really a thing it's yeah. like oh yeah maybe you could pull it off this game yeah, yeah but in this game you just pick any model if you don't even like the paint job on one <laughs> you could yes. shoot that one off the table you'd be yeah. like that one in particular fuck that one in particular <laughs> I have to admit, yeah. that, that mechanic right there just straight up really appeals to me yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Snipers and stuff. yeah. And, you, know, you could build a list around snipers yeah, if you exactly, wanted to yeah exactly. five of those guys well in there. what was really cool is church's biggest threat was those things like my rocket launchers and he got rid of them and he picked yep. a rocket launcher which reduced that one shot reduced that entire squad's damage by like 50 percent yeah yeah because the rest of the scrap rifles weren't doing anything nah. So, like, it was just the two rocket launchers and he pipped it. Loved it. The beauty, though, is, you know, sixes always succeed and ones always fail. Yeah. So, like... That was cool. You roll a bunch cool. of sixes to hit. Churchy rolls a bunch of ones to save. Yeah. To block, rather. Yeah. And, like, you could, you know... You can plink. You yeah. can. That's right. You can wear it down with a small arms fire. But, like, I mean, a rocket launcher is obviously going <laughs> to yeah. make it a bit quicker. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah. Which is good. And yeah. uh, I really like the, the damage mechanic in that... Yep. There is, as far as I've seen, there isn't that massive swingy damage oh, of D6. Yeah. Or even D3, I haven't seen. No, it's there just like, there's no, it's yeah. just fixed damage. It's one, three, six. Yep. I think six is as high as it goes. Yeah. So, so yeah. which is great. Yeah. Um, it just means when my rocket launcher hits, I know it's doing three damage. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, but it's usually hitting something that has multiples. Multiple wounds. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah it just feels more reliable. And well, you that just rocket would pop one of those destroyers in one go. Yeah, I thought about that afterwards. Mm. I thought about that afterwards. The AP on it was uh, two. Okay, so, so it goes to a five-up save. Yeah. Still. And then you would get your thing. Reg but, region. but yeah, well, that's. I mean, it makes sense. It's like, if it's good enough for a tank, <laughs> yeah. should, it should pop one of them. Yeah. The way, the way to get around regen is having rending ah. on a six, AP four, and it ignores regen. Oh. Yeah. What, if your save is a six-up? So, so um, rending, right? So, let's say... Oh, the, it's written into the rending rule. It is written ah. into the rending rule. Yeah, yeah. We yep. need that, Churchy. We need <laughs> some rending. rending. Yeah, some rending. my whole army doesn't have rending. But <laughs> yeah, yeah that's cool. It's built around rending and just charge into shame. True. Actually, there's like, uh, there's like a shred gun that I can bring with my elites. I don't know why I remember this. It has rending. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And it's like six shots. So, that's nice. Nice. Six shots with rending. Bring in that next good. time. Hell, yeah. Because that little flamethrower guy was my MVP. Just <laughs> he was. Just holding on there. He killed my leader. He did. He my robot lord. Plinked one wound off him in one turn. Yep. 
one wound on a, on a scorp tech the next turn. Yeah, I did, yeah. And then back to killing the leader the next turn. Yep. And, and just held there yep. the whole time. I think I, I definitely need more flamethrowers just because because you get so many rolls. Yeah. Like even yeah. Even 90% of my rolls are bad, there's surely going to be like one six in there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So. That's it. Yep. When I played against Michael at the... Um, not me. Spotty. Different not one. you. Yeah. Michael. Uh, um, I had two of those walkers that you oh, chose you had oh, yeah. like, I'm like yeah like every time 12 dice 12 so dice, good twin heavy flamers um, yeah oh Did, it's awesome didn't help you win Did, no I didn't <laughs> I still lost but I killed more models so Man, a moral victory so <laughs> more fire <laughs> yeah yeah roll that many and be like yes yeah. yeah it's not d6 either which i like it's yeah. just oh. six shots everything's just flat which is cool yeah just very yeah. clean and quick mm. yeah body oath would highly recommend even if like that's a good thing you can try it for free you can have just a go. take your yep. full scale sci-fi armies from whatever game yep find a book that suits or well you can't build the points for free but find a book no. that suits do the little list builder thing and throw it on the table. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Highly recommend it. We'll play it again. We will. Need to paint some jackals so maybe we can put some c- c- content. <laughs> I mean, Shane's solo carrying the One Page Rules content, but I'll, I'll be on board soon. Yeah. I'll be on board I soon. I can't wait to see what you do with those jackals, man. They're going to be sick. Yeah, my only problem is, like, I love them so much, I just keep printing them. Yeah. And I've, I know I've got 2,000 points. <laughs> that's what, it's not about points you anymore. You messaged me, yeah. You're like, so I've got two, two, 2K points of jackals. Yeah. And I'm like, hang on, mate. I'm like, 15 mil or 28? Because oh, I know, you, I know <laughs> you were doing that. Yeah. And I'm like, please be 28. Please be 28. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, 28. And I'm yeah. like, oh, thank yep. goodness. <laughs> I've got 2,000 points of 15 mil and 28 mil yes. jackals. Yep. Ready to go. Which for... is something that we'll hopefully do soon from 15 mil stuff. That'll be nuts. That'll be man. cool. I can't wait to see that us playing on like a freaking mouse pad. Yeah, <laughs> legit. Like... It's so tiny. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. yeah. You was, know, we, we've never hit that I was before. I curious about that too because seeing the, the bases, how there's like the whole squad on the one. Yeah. Base, yeah. That oh, looks like it would make it so even quicker. Cool. So even, quick. So you know, yeah. quick. Like super clean. Yeah. So yeah. Curious yeah. to see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll be good fun, but we'll, we'll get there with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I better paint up now. Yeah. Get some 28 mil stuff going for yeah for sure <laughs> i even started looking i was like yeah shane wants me to paint the eternal or whatever but all those star hosts look so good <laughs> <laughs> i mean i said whenever you're printing cues um down low which yeah. probably be never yeah I think everything's gonna be like that's kind of the top of the queue. yeah <laughs> what is that <laughs> top of the queue <laughs> there's like more jack of stuff coming that? yeah top, top of the queue <laughs> there's like two big um monsters or whatever for jackals that are like a thousand points each Ooh, mastodon Jesus. or something i just saw it in the list yeah and yeah. then i remember seeing a post on the uh, their discord about it so i think they're just like massive you know yeah. behemoths what is it like a knight or something like that like a hero knight <laughs> yeah but like a, a dinosaur yeah, or, yeah. or whatever jackal yeah. equivalent like those rhino things i should build my knight and then we can have like a uh titan v titan oh that'd be because... dope that'd be very cool i'd love a thing like even just like let me and churchy bring our little Sticky boy armies and fight something big. Oh yeah, and just we see how a, we go. We could do a narrative thing like that because there's like all different um, mission events you can do as well. Like yeah, you can roll on a, on a table, and then like uh, like zombies can spawn or like Sweet. storms, like earthquakes and all kinds of shit. Like that's cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's very cool. I just like the idea of like you know if if you're like me and you've got so many different sci-fi games. Yeah, you know you might have Infinity, you might play Parsecs with some custom models you've done or. You know, you might have three, four, five, forty k armies, and yep. you might have one page. It's like yep. all of that now is just thrown into the mix for oh yeah, one page rules. And yeah, yeah, you yeah. think of things like, oh, I could see how my knight goes against yep. some jackals yeah, or yeah. my infinity characters, and yep. make a character driven list or whatever. Hell you know, yeah. so very cool. Anyways, Bloody oath. we Sweet. enjoyed. Uh, well, I enjoyed my first ever game of one page rules. <laughs> As did I. Good. I'm glad. I'm well, glad that it was a good time. I'm glad that I've, I can get you guys to play again. Yeah, because I love it. I like. I mean, I'm not gonna say I'll never play another 40k game again. But <laughs> you've said that multiple <laughs> times to me. <laughs> I'll never play 40k again. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I told you that in confidence. You were very confident. Little by little, you guys are, uh, yeah, little by little, you guys are making me start to dip my toes back into the hobby again. Hell yeah, dude. So. It's you good were- when like because we've got so many armies. Like you just imagine you could have six mates over. Mm. Print off those little sheets and be like, "All right, guys, I've made you all five hundred point games. Yeah, uh, te- teams. We're gonna have a big two, you know, four v four or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I've got all the terrain and a big six by four table, which is all we'll need for this. Hell yeah! You've got all the rules you need in front of you. 
let's play. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to do that sometime. We will. Yeah, and like you've got your um, scions, Churchy. So that, yeah. that you could make that as a firefight kill, kill Easily. team. Easily. Yep. Yeah. You need Done. like ten to fifteen models for Done. that or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you just set the points. Exactly. Yeah. You go, Churchy. You go. I've only got five death troopers, but I like to play as those. <laughs> All right, dude. Let's make them. Some spastic, <laughs> highly costed, yeah. real dude, big dudes. Yeah, we'll yeah. play a hundred points. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah very cool. Hell yeah, yeah, loved it. So Good. please do jump in the Discord. Yeah, and just like start smacking your one page rule stuff. Let us know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, I want to see it. Tell us your we journey. Show it. us your models. Tell us your games. Yep. Everything. I need more information. Hell I need yeah. more. You can find links to the Discord on hobbyhomies.com. There you can also find our merch store as well. Cut um, the merch. Y- nope. It's a black hoodie. <laughs> it's could, a black hoodie. Could be anyone. Could be the, uh, yeah, could be the straight home. What's that Twitter hook called? Straight homie? S- straight homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be the straight homie. Um, yeah. Don't forget to um, like and sub if you haven't already. Check us out on all of our other platforms as well, like Instagram, Facebook. Oh, we have an Spotify. Instagram, dude. We do. It's 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 a still there. It's time of weeds. <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> still there. Um, check out Binge Worthy Breakdown. They are still going through their um, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Yep. Nearly halfway through. Wow. The girls are loving it. They are breaking that binge worthy content down. Oh, they are yeah. breaking it right down. And uh, of course, we've got Patreon as well. So um, if you can, for as little as two bucks a month, you can get early access to stuff like this, stuff like battle reports, um, and it also helps us grow the show. Yeah. Buy new gear, and eventually buy new armies we haven't done any of that yet but one day one day one we day will use we'll patreon have... money to buy yep. a tabletop related something yes <laughs> but until now just maybe more lights and yeah better equipment Cameras so that we can it... crap <laughs> we just tr- keep trying to funnel it in to deliver a better quality product yeah. for yeah you random weirdos who like <laughs> listening and watching us and yes. we highly appreciate it yeah we don't understand it but we can't thank you yeah. enough so thank you so much to all of our patrons and yeah. everyone just of listening course. whatever everyone it's all thank support you. thank you yeah so a massive shout out to Burnsy Whack Final Dinosaur MJ Lethal Moose Penny Gridlock Test Dummy and Battle Maps Jack and thank you Alco Churchy hey thanks Churchy Rad Rooster <laughs> Oliver Hawkers Agro Bravo 14 RJ Hill and Big Roach thank you all so much for your continued support you're amazing we love you so much see ya hang on a live episode next week Next week. It'll be on the Facebook, in the Discord. Keep an eye out for it. We haven't locked in a date yet, but it will be next week it or will, maybe Tuesday. <laughs> it will be. It will be. Tuesday we, after this coming Tuesday. We do games, we'll giveaways. Be. We'll be. be there, win some stuff. Hooray. Stay away, Tess. Don't win all of our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We got to the boys. Fox and Shane. Set your minds free. No locks and chains. Do what you love. Roll the dice. 50-50, we cold as ice. One thing cold, but a pin in time.